Hey tubers, BTHV1 here. Well today we're working on a little uh, Yardworks electric lawnmower and uh, I guess the problem with it is that when um, the owner releases the electric switch the motor keeps running. So we'll just have a little look at it. Here we are. The lawnmower is on my is on my lift and here's the switch here and when she operates the switch and then lets it go sometimes not always the motor keeps running in the lawnmower and she'd like that to stop so my job today is to take this off and see what's wrong with the switch there's absolutely no blade left at all so now we're going to sharpen that up and uh, we should be able to get these two problems solved hopefully and uh, we'll do a film when we're, when we're done. Sorry about that, I haven't filmed for a few days, I'm not used to talking to the camera again. And it mounts up here on the handlebar there. So I took the cover off and I checked the switch out, the switch is fine. And this little, this little round ball touches here which activates the switch. And what was happening was it was getting sticky so there it goes, the bar is engaging the switch. I don't know if I can do it all the way with one hand. There we go, and then it releases. And it was just getting sticky, so I used liquid wrench, which doesn't affect plastic, and it doesn't get stiff in the winter. And I just put a little bit of liquid wrench on this ball here, and on this activation pad for the switch. And I'll put the cover back on, like that, excuse me, and then mount the switch back up here, onto there, excuse me, like that. So that's how that'll work. BTH V1 over and out. Hey BTH, I'm back. Well look at that edge of that blade. But we still have a good piece of the factory the factory blade on there and then one more thing it was one of, this is the first electric mower I've worked on this uh, the bolt the nut that holds the blade on is a uh, reverse thread so we're, as we turn it on to the left count, counterclockwise the bolt goes on so that's interesting and now I'm going to sharpen this little blade is I'm going to take off all of the all of the uh, rock chips and stuff on this blade and then we'll go back and finish the factory the factory edge at about that angle there so goodness knows we can't hurt it because it's pretty bad already so I'll uh, BPHV1 here I'll just take this off now and I'll show you what I've done Oh, it's so shaky. So this is the now the new sharpened the new sharpened lawnmower blade. I pretty much emulated the angle that was on at the factory. There's the other side. And right after I got the angle, I just uh, how do I do this? Right here on the very very tip of that, I just took that real 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 sharp edge off so that the edge is a little bit stronger when you hit rocks and other things it won't bend the bend the edge as much you really can't see it but it's just the very very tip of the edge has been squared off with the uh, with the grinder so we'll just go to the grinder and I'll, I won't do it with the grinder running but what I did was first of all I squared off all of the bumps from the rocks on both sides and then I emulated the factory, the factory edge, and then went back and forth and, until the sparks are coming over the blade. And then you do it a little bit more. As the sparks come over the blade, then you know you've got it. And then once I got the sharp edge, I just took it and made that. The, if you took a microscope to it, you could see that the finest of edge is taken off there so that it's not like a real sharp knife and uh, dents the edge easy. So there we go. BTHV1 here. Well, I'm finished the cleanup of this little old electric mower here. It's a Yardworks. Really small. 
perfect for somebody who lives in a in a fourplex or a duplex or has a small lawn, doesn't want to deal with the elect all the hassles of gas. And uh, we're gonna just go out and see how she runs. Okay, here's the on-off switch, and now you hear it click. There. Done.